Hello everyone, and welcome to my The Young and the Restless official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Victoria Newman experiences the most shocking moment of her life. Claire refers to Victoria as her mother in The Young and the Restless recap for Monday, November 27, 2023, which is a startling revelation. Highlights of the Young and the Restless recap. In this episode, Nikki dreamed of Eve as well, and Victoria, Nick, and Victor discovered Cole was present. They also discovered that Jordan had embellished the entire account of Nikki's seizure. Sally re-established contact with Adam, and she gave him a kiss. At last, Audra refused to accept that Nate had not betrayed Victor. Let's examine what transpired in more detail now. Nikki cried at the lake house. Beneath her pillow, she discovered a picture of Eve Howard. Bewildered, she drifted off to sleep. Cole called Victoria upstairs and left her a message. After he hung up, Aunt Jordan struck him over the head with a hammer. Jordan made his way to Nikki's chamber. Feeling dazed, Nikki opened her eyes to see a fuzzy picture of Jordan. Jordan pushed Nikki to calm down, asking her if she knew what he wanted. Jordan mentioned her family would be arriving soon, which confused Nikki. Jordan responded by telling Nikki that she had done this to herself, despite Nikki's outbury that he had done it to her. Claire, Nick, Victoria, and Victor came downstairs. Jordan wasn't responding when Claire called for him. Though unhappy, the Newmans decided to wait. Claire assured them Nikki would be all right and got them some bottled water. Victoria felt uneasy about her behavior. Jordan told the family that Nikki was still in the hospital for the night as she descended the stairs while wearing a sling on her fictitious broken arm. Jordan informed Victor that visiting hours had ended, but Victor still wanted to know the hospital's name. Jordan offered to rent a car since Victor didn't seem to care. As Nick, Victoria, and Victor sipped their water, Jordan gave an explanation of the seizure. Jordan proposed that they all take a seat and unwind. The car wouldn't exist. They will not be going. What the hell was she talking about, Nick wondered. It's time to tell the truth, Jordan said, taking off her sling. Jordan revealed that Victor was well acquainted with her sister and cautioned them to pay attention. Eve Howard, Jordan said, loved him, and he broke her heart, betrayed her, and threw her away. Jordan claimed that because of their distance, her sister passed away, and she held Victor responsible. She also disclosed that the poison they had ingested in their water would kill them all. She had triple-locked every door when they attempted to leave. Cole was hauled outside by the arm by Claire. Victoria was taken aback upon seeing him. Claire said, didn't he, mother? She had to be at the family reunion. Cole's and Victoria's eyes grew wide with shock at the implication. Nikki dreamed upstairs that Eve had told her in a lie that Victor had passed away. Startled into wakefulness, Nikki awoke. Adam inquired at the GTAC as to whether Nate had seen his sister or father. It was Nate who hadn't noticed them. Following some teasing, Nate departed and Sally appeared. Adam insisted that he had never had a closer relationship with his father when she inquired about his family's situation. At the bar, they ordered some martinis. She hadn't spoken to him since they had sex, Adam remarked. He could understand Sally's admission that she needed time to come to terms with things. During their conversation, she expressed her displeasure that he had intended to derail Victor. Adam, though, made the observation that the previous iteration of him would not have admitted to it. Adam disclosed that Nate was the one who had betrayed Victor, and that Victor had made up the entire story. When Sally asked Adam if he was comfortable with everything, he replied that his father does it that way. They discussed their positions, and Sally wasn't sure. Adam asked for a real dinner date, saying that he hoped they had a chance. After Sally gave her consent, they sat down and began discussing their lies. Adam apologized and Sally accepted after he said that having children had changed him. She wanted to go, though, when she realized she wasn't hungry. Sally surprised Adam and herself by giving him a kiss goodnight. Crimson Lights provided coffee for Audra and Nate. 
When he summarized Victor's setup, Audra became perplexed. He disclosed that Victor was attempting to remove a traitor. They both acknowledged that it was broken. Audra didn't believe Nate when he said he was sincerely worried about Victor. She surmised that his true objective was to make room so that he and Victoria could take command while Victor was receiving treatment. Victor needed help, Nate insisted, and they had to keep it to themselves. They both believed it to be incorrect. Nate was ultimately destined for failure. Even though the others were to blame, he wasn't sure what to think of Victoria. Did he want to exact revenge on them? Audra inquired. She will think about enticing him in because she is working on something. Audra disagreed with Nate's assertion that he wasn't as vicious as she believed. The Young and Arresta spoilers for Tuesday, November 28, indicate that Nikki Newman will lose it when things go really bad for her hostage situation. Nikki has received a lot of vodka so far, but because Aunt Jordan is moving into the riskiest part of her plan, poison may come next. Victoria Newman and Cole Howard will learn some startling new information about the infant girl they believe to be gone forever below at the lake house. Eve Nicole Howard was named after her grandmother, but it's possible that Aunt Jordan, the sister of the original Eve Howard, swapped her soon after she was born. In order to make Cole and Victoria think their own child was lost for good, it appears that Jordan eventually passed off another infant as their daughter. That would explain how Claire came to be raised by Jordan and how he made her such a fan of Newman. In any case, Victoria will find it difficult to accept that Claire is her biological daughter. Claire is on Jordan's spiteful squad, so this mother-daughter reunion won't be sentimental and sweet. Naturally, Victor Newman's biggest worry is that Nikki might end as a prisoner. Jordan may break the news that Nikki is losing her sobriety as a result of all the alcohol that has been given to her. According to Y and R teasers, Victor will eventually feel he's had enough and try to take a risk on Jordan. Victor may not have as much luck with that scheme as he had hoped because it appears that Nick Newman Victoria and him were also poisoned. Jordan is excited to witness the Newmans die under her roof but there are going to be some unexpected developments that will alter the course of events. There will be scary moments in between, but Nick, Victoria, Victor, and Nikki will all survive in the end. The Young and the Restless spoilers indicate that although Jordan will stop at nothing to exact revenge on Eve and cause the Newman's pain, she will eventually lose control of her insane scheme. Keep an eye out for further nasty surprises that Jordan and Claire will be revealing amid all the chaos at the lake house. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.